Welcome back. This is video 8 of Making Schematics and PCBs with KeyCAD. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to print your PCB. So I've started KeyCAD up again with the project that we've been working on, a continuity tester. Here's my schematic that I put together, and here's my PCB layout. I'm using a board this size. I show the dimensions here. And this board is big enough to fit two of the circuits on. I just duplicated the circuit and I'll print it twice on the same board, then cut the board in half and have two of these. In the last video, I showed how to prepare the Gerber files for printing. So if I go to Gerber Viewer from my KiCad control page, I can click on Gerber Viewer and then select the Gerber files. If I just click on Open Gerber Files, I had previously saved them in my KiCad folder in a continuity tester folder. So here's my Gerber files. I saved the, the bottom or back copper layer, the front or top copper layer, and then the paste layer. What you need to do is find out from the board house you're sending your files to what layers they need. Some board houses can actually take the KiCad files directly. Most of them you'll need to send Gerber files. I have for my electronics class that I teach a small printed circuit board printer. It's called the Volterra V1. It's a small prototyping printer, and I'm going to be printing on that. So I, I got on Volterra's website, looked up exporting files from KiCad, and they told me the layers that I would need. That's how you decide which layers to prepare for Gerber files. Now I'm going to load the bottom copper layer. So I click on that, click Open, and there it is. This is where the conductive traces will print on my Volterra V1 printer. Comparing that to my board layout, I can see different layers. If I want to remove some of the layers, see I, if I click on the front mask, nothing happens, so I don't need that layer. I'm actually not going to be able to print the silkscreen layer with my printer, so I can remove that. I'm not going to print the front copper layer, I want the bottom copper layer. So these red traces or vias. Actually, I'm going to have to use a jumper wire to do that, so I'm going to remove that. If I unclick the front fabrication layer, it removes all of the labels, but I want to leave those in place because I want to print this paper. So I go up to print my board. I'm going to print the bottom copper layer, not the front. I'm going to do a print preview. It shows me what this will look like. First, I'm going to close that go to my page settings. Pick the size of paper. I'm going to use US letter 8.5 by 11. So now I go to my print. I'm going to print the bottom copper layer. Here's my print preview. The reason I print that is so that as I am working to put the components on the board, I'll have a, a paper to guide me. This shows the opening screen when you start the Volterra V1 software. We're going to select drill to begin with and then you have to choose between simple and aligned. Aligned just means that there's already holes or other soldering traces already exist on the board. So we're going to begin with a blank board that's simple. This screen then comes up and you need to select the Gerber files for the drill. V1 software, I really like Volterra's uh, software. They guide you through step at a time. So you can load the last circuit and then it will ask where those files are found. So again, I've included all the files in a, the Gerber files in a folder of that project within the KiCad folder. So I can select the bottom copper layer or the back copper layer and it will load all the copper layer and tr the copper traces and where the holes go for that. This is a picture of the Volterra V1 machine itself has these metal clamps that you can use to hold the fiberglass board or FR board in place and then a board underneath that's necessary for drilling to, as the drill goes completely through the fiberglass board. So this shows a board that's been drilled. Next, after removing the board, you need to tell the V1 system software where those holes are. So you have to select an aligned board this time. So the V1 software will ask you to position the probe over a couple of holes on the board. You can move the board to where it needs to be to map out those existing features and once you've done that then it'll have the board mapped out and know where to put all the traces. So here's a finished printed board. The conductive ink is actually a plastic polymer mixed with metal. It has bismuth and silver and can have different formulations of those. But you cannot use leaded solder to solder to these traces. 
the lead solder won't mix well with the bismuth and other metals in this conductive traces. You can solder to it. It's a delicate soldering operation. Voltaire actually has a really good tutorial on their site about how to solder to their traces, and I'd highly recommend that. They basically say just lower the temperature of your soldering iron, so I, I lowered it to about 180 degrees Celsius. Then you got to be very delicate or you'll melt through those traces. So it's not soldering for beginners. But before you can solder to it, you've got to cure those traces, which means heat them up to get them to uh, not smear anymore. And before doing that, sometimes the paste will dispense into the hole, so you want to clear all your holes. So here I use a uh, just the resistor lead or you know a lead from another component to push through from the opposite side to clear any ink that's uh, in those holes. After clearing the ink, then you can flip the board over, and then the Volterra V1 has a heated bed, so it bakes those traces in place so they no longer smear and will be fully conductive. So here is a finished board. Put a few resistors through the hole so you can see from that side. And on this side, it shows the soldering traces and one jumper wire that I soldered in place to be a bridge over the top of some conductive traces. But notice, uh, like this, this section here, I uh, melted through the trace with the soldering iron, had to make a bridge there with some wire. So it's not an easy job soldering, but it is doable. And if you don't want to pay a board house, if maybe you need only one board, the Volterra V1 is a good system to prototype on or for hobbyists to use. And hopefully that will give you a good understanding of how to print your board. Thanks for joining me for this video.